Hey everyone, I'm Justin with ExtremeTerrain.com. Taking a closer look and installing the Rough Country Folding Tailgate Table available for your 2021 and newer Bronco at home. Now, you should be checking out the Rough Country Table if you're looking for an affordable way to add a little bit more functionality to the tailgate of your two or four door rig. So this is one of a few different table options currently available here on the site. And judging by the numerous four and five star customer reviews, it seems to be very well liked amongst other enthusiasts. Now, the purpose of the table is pretty simple, right? Add a functional workspace to the tailgate of your Bronco that can be used as maybe a cook surface or work area when needed, and then completely fold it up and out of the way when you're finished. Now the table will measure just about 27 inches wide, about 12 inches deep, does feature some built-in cup holders, and the entire assembly is capable of supporting up to 75 pounds, so it's definitely sturdy. Now that sturdiness does come from a pretty stout build. In fact, you're gonna find things like the steel frame here giving you that strength, while the table itself will be made from an aluminum material and then the entire package finished off in kind of a lightly textured black powder coat and even features the Rough Country uh, lettering cut into the table itself. Price point for the Rough Country option is gonna live right around 100 bucks, guys, give or take, which is certainly, at least at the time of this video, one of the most affordable tables available for your rig uh, on the site compared to options for maybe Putco or Combat Off-Road, both of which are considerably more pricey than the Rough Country option we have here today. So I'm just gonna call this install a solid one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, maybe an hour to complete at most from start to finish. But regardless, to give you guys a better idea of how things will go down on your Bronco at home, let's head out to the shop for our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Tools used for this installation, a hammer, electric drill, center punch, scissors, 532nd Allen head, 3 8 ratchet, 3 8 extension, 1132nd drill bit, and a thread insert tool. So the first thing we're gonna to do to install our folding table here on our Bronco is we're going to open our kit up and you're gonna get a template like this that's in the kit. Now this template, what we're gonna do with it is, is we're gonna end up cutting along these lines here with some scissors and we have four holes here that we're gonna to have to drill and then we're going to insert this thread insert into the holes. That's gonna allow us to bolt our folding table to the back of the door. So I'm gonna to get to cutting this out and getting this taped into the door, and then we'll start making our marks so we can draw our holes. So now that we have it cut along the lines, like it says, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece here, and we're gonna get some masking tape, and we're gonna tape this up onto the back of our door, and then we'll make our marks here for our holes and then punch these it will take a little punch a center punch and we'll punch four little punches in so we know where they're going to be then we'll take our 11 30 second drill and drill into our door so now that we have our uh, paper here taped up that gives us our idea where our holes are going to be what i'm going to do is take my center punch and punch four holes right here, or put four indents, I should say, into the metal. That way we can remove this, get our 11th 30 second drill, and draw our four holes, and then insert our thread inserts. Now what you're gonna do is just line that up the center, take your hammer, smack it like that, same up here. I'm gonna go down to this one here. Sometimes it doesn't hurt just to go back and take another smack at it, just so it puts a mark like that. Next, we'll remove this and drill our four holes. So now I'm gonna take my drill and 11 30 second drill bit. I'm gonna drill these four holes that we punched with our center punch. Now that we have our four holes drilled, we'll put our thread certs in. So now that we got our four holes drilled, I'm gonna install our thread 
insert in place. And what I'm gonna do is get it started, push it in a little bit, take my hammer, tap it into place like that. I'm gonna repeat this on the other three. So now that we have all four of these in place, we're gonna use our thread insert tool here to pull them in and crimp them. Now, if you don't have this tool, you're able to use a bolt, put a bolt and screw it with a nut on it, and you're gonna screw the bolt in and hold the nut. The manufacturer's directions show you how to do this. You put it in and then you'll tighten the nut and it'll actually pull the back of it and jam the thread insert into place. Now I have this tool, so I'm gonna take this tool, screw it in here until it stops, squeeze it like that, back it off, and then I'm gonna do that to the rest of it. Now that we have our thread inserts in place, we're ready to hang our table on the back of this. So now that we have everything in place, we're gonna mount our table. You're gonna see in the kit, you're gonna get an Allen head screw with these little cups that hold it in place. I'm gonna take that with my 532nd Allen head. I'm gonna start it in the top one here, line it up with the hole. And I'm gonna get one started. I'm gonna come over to this side here, do the same, take my 532nd Allen head with that little cup, line the screw hole up. Now once I have those two in place, then we'll come down here, we'll line our bottom one up. We'll get that one started, and we'll do the same on this side. Next, what we'll do is tighten these up, get this all mounted, and then we'll be finished. So now that I got my bottom ones tight, I'm gonna just finish up, tighten up our top ones here. And now that we have those tight, we're gonna to have to put some plugs in these two holes here just to fill them in. We'll do that next. So they give us these two plugs in our kit, and what happens is once you get these in here like that to hold this in position. You're just gonna push these plugs in like that. We're gonna fill those two holes. They act as rubber stops when you come up to hook the lever up here like that. And that'll wrap up this install. That wraps up this review and install of our Rough Country folding tailgate table for Broncos. Thanks for watching. And for all things Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.